If you're someone who's in the habit of checking the Game Maker Studio 2 release notes every time a new beta comes out, you might have noticed in, um, in the update for the 1st of February 2022, uh, beta 470, that there's a little note at the top of the release notes that says, added support for toggling a Federation copy on write in-game. And this may or may not have any meaning to you. It's a rather obscure feature of Game Maker. Uh, it also happens to probably hold the honor of being my least favorite feature of Game Maker. And what this means in versions of Game Maker, at least prior to this update, is that let's say you had an array. Uh, let me uh, just create a script one, sure. Let's maximize this, make the font bigger, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you have an array, and let's give it some default values. And we can print out the contents of that array. Uh, and uh, let's say that you want to edit the value in, uh, in the array, edit a value in the array, and, uh, and print, the, print the value again, print out the array again. Uh, you would see that uh, the value at index zero in this array has changed, as it should. Let me do a game end after that. And uh, let me also move the output window up here so that it gets a little more space on the screen. All right, great. One, two, three, four, and then 100, two, three, four. That makes sense. However, if you have a, uh, if you have a function, let's call it edit array, and it takes an array as an argument. Um, and if you, wanted to, uh, if you wanted to change the value of the array in this function, let's say array index zero is going to equal, I don't know, a little bit of diabolical laughter or something like that. And if you were to show debug message on the array, you would see that the value in index zero has changed. However, if I were to uh, one call this function, uh, edit array like this, and then if I were to print out the value of the array uh, again after this function has finished running, uh, we are now going to see we are now going to see four lines popping out in the console, and in the fourth line we are going to see that the, uh, the value inside this array has magically changed back to what it was originally. And that is because in Game Maker, uh, when, you, when you change the value of an array uh, that has been passed to a function as an argument and in a couple other annoying circumstances, uh, Game Maker will instead automatically make a copy of said array instead of letting you modify the original. And that is known as copy on write. It is, I don't know if I'd say this is definitively my least favorite feature of Game Maker, but it's definitely up there. Uh, this is copy on write. Uh, this was originally intended to prevent people from accidentally modifying the values of arrays that they pass to functions as arguments without meaning to, but in the end I think it's pretty safe to say that this has caused more problems than it's solved. You can of course get around this with an array accessor. Uh, if you put the little at symbol in front of the, uh, the index in the array that you want to edit, instead of making a copy you will instead edit the original version of the array. That is the array accessor. I made a video on this back in, I think, September, if you want to see a little more information. However, starting in, starting in the beta that came out this week, um, if you were to run the same code again, and uh, this is, again, IDE version 2022-100-0470, runtime 2022-100-0446. Uh, if you were to run the same code again, and let me drag the output window up here once again, and I, uh, I accidentally left the array accessor in there. Let me try that again. If you were to run this again, you would see that this no longer happens. And the original value, uh, the original array is indeed modified uh, without the need for the array accessor. The array accessor, as you probably saw the first time I ran it uh, like this by accident, uh, this will still run. Uh, your game will still work if you include the array accessor. It just won't really make a difference. Basically, uh, the little at symbol in front of the array, the array index will just be completely ignored. If you have old code that uses this, uh, if you have code written in older versions of Game Maker that uses this, which there's a good chance that a lot of you do, uh, the game will still work. The accessor will just be ignored. And from this point forth, or at least from this beta update forth, uh, you are perfectly free to not ever think about the array accessor again. So if you are watching this video at some point, um, some point later than February of 2022, uh, if you are using version 2022.2 of Game Maker or later, they recently changed the numbering system and it makes it really convenient to just figure out when, like how old a particular version of Game Maker is. But anyway, if you're watching this more than about a month after I post this video, uh, this will already be part of the, um, part of the stable version of Game Maker. Otherwise, you do need to be using the beta to be able to use this. 
And there is a non-trivial part of me that thinks it's worth like staying on top of the recent betas just so that you can you can make use of, of things such as this. If you, for whatever reason, want to want to preserve the array copy and write behavior, uh, there is in game options a little checkbox that has appeared uh, that says enable copy and write behavior for arrays. And funnily enough, I believe in this particular uh, beta update, this actually doesn't do anything. I believe if you say enable copy and write behavior for arrays, it just won't. Uh, not entirely sure what's up with that. As you can see, it works the same either way. But, uh, that's, that's amusing. Anyway, I'm fairly confident in saying that this change is not going to affect most of you. Um, at some point in the future, if I had to make a prediction about the future, maybe about a year or so into the future, uh, this checkbox will just not be there, and, uh, copy and write will officially be dead. And... Um, editing the values of arrays and scripts passed by reference will just edit the original array. If you are someone like me who continuously runs headlong into problems with the array copy and write behavior, um, rejoice, the end is near. If you are someone who actually takes advantage of this behavior, um, and I can't say I've ever met anyone in the real world who does, then you're going to either need to use the compatibility option or manually duplicate the array by doing something like, uh, I don't know, bar ghost array equals array create uh, with a capacity of array length l-e-n-g-t-h the original array and then array copy uh, into the ghost array uh, destination index zero uh, source source index zero source 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 length is the array length and then you can just uh, you can continue on using the uh, the ghost array like this uh, it's two lines of code. If I were to run the game now, you could see that this uh, more or less emulates the original behavior um, if you happen to be someone who wants that. But like I said, I have yet to meet anyone in the real world who actually makes use of this. So anyway, I am very happy to see this change. Uh, recent beta updates to GameMaker have included a couple of new features, uh, including one particular new feature, which comes to a better, better error detection in your code, better IntelliSense which I have uh, disabled for this video because I don't want red and yellow lines to be popping up all over every line of code that I type. Uh, I do want to make a video on that eventually, but at the current moment it is so terrifically unstable and unpredictable and buggy that I, I don't really think making a video on it at this moment would, would really be productive. But once, that, uh, once things calm down with that a little bit, I definitely will make a video on it. Uh, it's very, very interesting. And some have argued that it's the most important change to GameMaker since 2.3.0. But that's the story for Copy on Write. I'm going to end the video here. I really hope that you enjoy this change as much as I do. As much as I am going to. No code from GitHub this time. However, if you want to download the latest beta and mess around with it for yourself, feel free. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute towards these Game Maker videos being made, there will be links to that in all the usual places. Otherwise, I'm starting to get back into the routine of posting about two game dev videos a week. I like to cover the weirder parts of Game Maker, such as 3D stuff and shader nonsense. But I've also been doing more and more by way of things like beta additions to Game Maker as of late. Anyway, if you're interested in any of that, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Army Armbuster, Edward Holt, Emily Coyo, Game Maker, Gunnar Clovis, Posho, Sindra Larson, Square Crow, The Nothing Happened, Tusk, and Zenjamin for supporting these videos. If you want to see your name in the credits or hear yourself shouted out at the end, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.